Hello everyone, my name is Hossein Mohammed Makroni, graduated from University of California, Davis. My research interests mainly focus on applied machine learning for improving the performance and security of computing devices. In this presentation, I am glad to present our work entitled Accelerated Machine Learning for On-Device Hardware-Assisted Cybersecurity in Edge Platforms. This is the outline of my talk. First, I will present a background on the topic and what motivated us to do this research. I will talk about obstacles and the solutions and then present our proposed methodology for solving the problem. After that, I will evaluate our methodology and present the results. Finally, I conclude my presentation with a summary. One of the most critical cyber attacks affecting today's computing system is malware. But what is malware? Malware is a piece of code developed by cyber attackers to compromise security of a system or privacy of a victim by performing various malicious activities such as destroying the data, selling information, running destructive or intrusive programs on devices such as performing denial of service attack or gaining root access without the consent of the user. Traditional malware detection techniques, such as signature-based anomaly detection methods or software-based solutions that often incur significant computational overheads to the system. Moreover, they rely on a static database of malware attacks that have been analyzed offline. This makes identifying them, uh, the unseen attacks a major challenge. Similarly, antivirus solutions are dependent of the static vendor database and are also expensive in terms of computational and memory requirements. In a nutshell, we can conclude that the existing solutions are not effective for embedded systems and IoT devices, and generally for resource-limited system computing systems that have restricted power, performance, and area characteristics. The solution that was proposed is going back to the hardware. The proposed solution was to go back to the underlying hardware and inspect the traces that applications leave on the underlying hardware and learn from these low-level traces to predict the intent and behavior of application. All recent processors contain processor-specific performance monitoring units that includes several performance counters that are able to count the microarchitectural events from many hardware sources. HPC registers has been originally proposed to help to determine system bottlenecks and fine-tune systems and application performance. These registers basically provide information on how well an application is performing. HPCs track features such as data cache misses, instructions, branch mispredictions, instruction executed, cycles, and etc. To recap, the hardware-based malware detection technique leveraged the HPC's information for the purpose of security enhancement in the context of malware detection. HPCs can be used to detect security breaches and vulnerabilities. The performance counters can reveal program's execution characteristics, which can further reflect the program's security states. As a result, hardware-based malware detection, or HMD, is introduced, which relies on low-level microchip information, delivering promising results in terms of speed, overhead, and visibility to attacker. However, compared to high-performance servers, edge devices host much fewer number of HPCs. Therefore, constantly monitoring the malicious and benign programs using few number of HPCs and running ML models on low-end processing units of an edge device is not an efficient way to use resources. In addition, adopting complex machine learning classifiers like neural networks could further exacerbate the situation and result in congestion and racing up for CPU resources 
between malware detectors and other machine learning applications. A promising solution is to lower the burden of the complex processing of machine learning models on the processor of the edge device and offer such tasks to a hardware accelerators. Because of ML hardware accelerators have shown to be low power, low latency, and cost effective compared to general purpose processors. However, again, the limited area available on an embedded edge device adds another limitation to use the hardware accelerator for ML models, right? Lowering the area footprint of the ML in hardware increases the latency, and at the same time, we require a low latency hardware to detect the malware signature at real time. Therefore, there are two opposite goals that satisfying both at once requires a delicate trade-off analysis and optimization, which could be tedious to achieve using manual efforts, especially for software engineers and programmers who are not familiar with the custom hardware design. In order to generalize our approach that higher range of programmers be able to use our specialized hardware accelerators, we use high-level synthesize, which is commonly used in software hardware co-design. Hardware software co-design has emerged as a key first step in the future design products because it helps to apply a modular approach to system-level modeling. With the new hybrid platforms such as CPU plus FPGA, like Zen platforms, it's becoming much easier for programmers to design their own hardware accelerators and use software hardware co-design as the potential solution. FPGAs enjoy other benefits such as on-the-fly programmability, reconfigurability, energy efficiency, and the development of hardware software co-design platforms. This also facilitates engineers to perform hardware design without requiring deeper insight into the hardware design. On the other hand, high-level synthesis or HLS tools emerged and shifted the paradigm of hardware design and made the process of mapping high-level programming languages to hardware design such as C2 VHL or Verilog feasible. HLS tools offer many techniques to optimize design for both area and also the performance. The left figure shows HLS-based design flow, which starts with the high-level software programs such as C or C++. HLS tool translates the high-level language programs into HDL models, such as Verilog or VHDL. Additionally, HLS tools report the expected timing, delay, and estimated resource usage that we call it area. Despite the importance of these reports, Many of the current reports from the HLS synthesized tools are highly inaccurate, as final resource usage and timing reports of HLS depends on the implementation phases, such as logic synthesize and place and route, that are beyond the HLS tool capability. Therefore, it is difficult for even state-of-the-art HLS tools to accurately estimate the performance and resource utilization of a design, which leads to an inefficient design that cannot be acceptable in edge devices. Another challenge is that Vivoto Design Suite, which is the HLS tool, offers 25 predefined optimization strategies, which can be tuned to achieve a higher maximum frequency and a more optimized design. Hence, incorporating all of these strategies leads to a large design space and even more tedious navigation process. Therefore, a programmer cannot easily navigate all 25 optimization strategies due to the time-consuming process. This motivates us to propose an automated optimization engine for hardware-accelerated machine learning used in malware detection mechanism of resource-limited edge devices. To address 
all challenges mentioned before, we propose a machine learning based HLS optimization framework for on device hardware assisted cybersecurity called OptiEdge. OptiEdge exploits an automated hardware optimization engine called Minerva. Minerva determines the close to optimal setting of tools using aesthetic timing analysis and a heuristic algorithm that can target either optimal throughput or throughput to area ratio. Minerva is designed to be used to automate the task of finding optimized results. However, based on the size of the design, using this process may take few minutes or even several hours. OptiEdge recalibrates the inaccurate HLS reported results and maps them to the results of Minerva using ensemble machine learning method. In this way, without going through the time-consuming process of full end-to-end -end implementation, developers can have an accurate post-optimal op implementation estimation of resource utilization and maximum supported frequency of the design just after getting the report of their HLS design that significantly reduced the design exploration time just by using the OptiEdge. Now, let's look at the inside of the OptiEdge. The heart of OptiEdge is an ensemble learning model. The ensemble learning is a branch of machine learning used to improve the accuracy and performance of general machine learning models by generating a set of base learners and combining their outputs for final decision. In this work, we use a stack regression method where a number of first level estimators are combined using a second level estimator. The key idea is to train a second level estimator based on the output of the first level estimators via cross validation. It is critical to ensure that the base estimators are formed using a batch of training dataset that is different from the one used to form the new dataset. The second step is to treat the new dataset as a new problem and employ a learning algorithm to solve it. To employ a stacking approach, two parameters must be determined. Threshold for the accuracy and the maximum number of iterations. After each stage, the accuracy must be checked. If the model meets the target estimation accuracy, then we stop the process of model creation. Otherwise, we continue the iterations until reaching to the desired accuracy or to the maximum number of iterations. In order to train our ensemble model, we had to collect a dataset to map the results of HLS to the optimal implementation. For this task, we selected benchmarks from MaxSuite, S2B, CBench, CHS Stone, and Rosetta benchmarks. We totally covered 90 benchmarks, which include a wide range of domains from simple kernel to machine learning and real-time video processing that they have reflected the latest application trends. We implemented them on three different platforms, Artix, Kintex, and Vitex. The software utilized for implementation was the Vivodo and Vivodo HLS and uh, I skipped the detailed experimental setup for the brevity in the presentation but encourage you to read the paper for more technical details such as how we created the dataset for hardware implementation or even for malware detection. This table shows the estimation errors of timing and utilization calculated by OptiEdge for two different optimization goals, throughput and throughput to area, using a stacking approach. Results show that the average error of the OptiEdge is only around 5%. Later, I describe how this estimator can be used for design exploration and help us to find the optimal implementation results for our hardware accelerator maglev detectors. This slide illustrates 
how we can implement the malware detectors in hardware followed by our proposed optimization method. The MATLAB tool exports the machine learning models in C language. Programmers can use MATLAB coder tool to generate the hardware-specific C source code for each ML-based malware detector models. The C files are used as an input to HLS tool and generate the hardware, I mean convert to the very low code. Here, the HLS reports can be used as an input to OptiH to perform a design space exploration to estimate the optimal results for each malware detector. Based on the recommendation of the OptiH, then Vivolo tool can be used to synthesize the RTL code of the ML model to hard uh, and generate bit stream. Our selected machine learning classifiers to do the malware detection include BaseNet, Simple Logistic, Multilayer Perceptron, Part and Sequential Minimal Optimization. <coughs> the rationale for selecting these machine learning models is that they are from different branches of machine learning. In addition, the prediction model produced by these learning algorithms can be a binary classification uh, which is compatible with the attack detection problem in our work. Furthermore, the MATLAB data mining tool is deployed for implementing the machine learning classifiers in software. Uh, the figure demonstrates the observed detection accuracy across five implemented ML classifiers trained and tested with only four HPCs. As the results show, PART is the classifier achieving higher detection accuracy for malware and mirror classification. On the other side, the table below shows the naive hardware implementation of malware detectors without applying any optimization or doing design space exploration. Now, let's do a design space exploration on hardware implementation of these malware detectors. This slide shows the results of design space exploration on hardware implementation of malware detectors using OptiH. As you can see, for each detector, we targeted two different st strategies for optimization. As a case study, the throughput of the NAVE implementation of the base NAVE was 11k operation per second, and throughput of NAVE MLP was lower than that, around 9.5 kilo operation per second. However, after the design exploration using OptiH, we found that MLP can achieve up to 45 kilo operation per second, while the maximum throughput of the base net would be around 20 kilo uh, operation per second, which 2x is slower. This result shows how OptiH can be useful for the community to perform the design space exploration without going through the tedious efforts of time uh, consuming implementation. We also studied the efficiency of hardware accelerated ML based malware detectors. The metrics that we used for efficiency was accuracy square 2 divided by area and latency. Surprisingly, we observed that SMO outperforms all other detectors, which shows it could be a suitable detector for edge devices. Hardware assisted cybersecurity countermeasures by employing applications low level features captured by hardware performance contest registers have emerged as a promising solution to address the inefficiency of traditional software based methods. This work proposed an accurate, cost efficient hardware accelerated machine learning based solution for securing emerging edge devices against malware using processor HPC data. In this paper, we also proposed OptiH, an ML-based hardware-assisted resource and timing estimation tool that can reduce the design space exploration for edge devices design. Thank you very much for your attention. Please feel free to ask your questions.